Good morning, everyone. I'm going to be doing a, uh, and I'll probably fast forward through a bunch of this because it's, you know, or at least wise parts of this. Unfortunately, this one is a Timu mold. There's some marks on the mold, on the face. Off to the side, I don't mind, but unfortunately, there's some spots actually marks on the face and the body, um, which is unfortunate, but can't do much about a cheap mold. I'm going to um, fast forward through, you know, parts of this. I'm just going to be using Let's Resin, uh, Cyan, Dark Violet, and some bronze. Just coloring in a few parts on the dragon. <clears throat> Not all of it, just a few parts. Because some of it, I'm going to be using a couple of different colors. Not necessarily this one from Let's Resin. Just a couple of Let's Resin's alcohol inks also. Um, this is going to be a coaster for my granddaughter while she's here. The Chameleons, um, I'm going to be, the is the uh, gorgeous little mold that I just got from uh, Miss uh, Sheila uh, from Reptiles and Resin. She sent me this cute little uh, mold. Um, Perfect little gift. I'm going to also be using some of the glitters that I got gifted from Miss April from Dragons and Dresses. I've picked out a couple of glitters I'm going to use in some of them. I'm also going to be using um, some other of the glitters in a different one. And I'll be using some of the alcohol ink from Let's Resin in some of the others. I don't know exactly how many because I'm just going to wildly guess that the amount of resin I'm going to mix up and... Wherever it goes is wherever it takes me, so if I didn't measure anything, I'm just kind of sort of going with the flow today. Right now, I'm just going to uh, do the brushing in here, um, and like I said, I'll go back into editing, and I'll fast forward so you're not having to watch all that part, and then um, I don't know if I'll just, yeah, I'll probably uh, end up mixing these colors in. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is, but it's uh, one of the finer glitters. These ones, this is the Color, Color Shift Sunrise Shimmer and the Color Shift Rose Shimmer. And I figured the three of these would be a cool uh, uh, color mix for one of the little uh, chameleons. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, the black and purplish one along with the regular hollow uh, black and silver and another one would be a cool one and then i'll do some um however much resin i mix up depends on how much i have left i'll figure up the colors as i go for those ones so i'll get to painting and it'll get fast forward from here <laughs> And where are my glasses so I can see a little bit better with some of these details? My zoom glasses, 160 magnification. And I think I forgot to actually put that on there. I, I got to try and remember to add these to um, my links, but I got these off of Amazon. And for anybody that might not need them for, you know, regular time, but needs a little assistance for seeing, for crafting, these are excellent. This is just a knockoff thing from Timu. Chameleon color.
Like I said, I don't know how many of these I'll get to, but I am going to try a couple of them. Mix up a, about three or four ounces. Name with some command colors. Let you dry out everything else I've got to actually mix up some resin on <clears throat> and I need these glasses up safely okay so may only just fill this halfway and can always back it later These guys, you kind of sort of want a good depth on in order for the keychains to have a proper. I should have separated these out, and I didn't think about that for the glitter. I may just have to mix in the mold, put the glitter in, and mix in. That's going to be fun. Ooh, you're going to cause some bubbles, aren't you, with this one? Some of these guys are super duper cute. Shame they don't have the pre-spots for the keychains. So I'll just have to figure out where I want to drill them at. Let's see this one. Huh. May have just enough for some of these guys. Let's see. Like I said, I am trying to leave a little room for me putting the glitter in and mixing in, as well as the um, my brain will work here. The alcohol inks. <laughs> That's the word, alcohol inks. And yep, there's Hubby Home. Let's see. Get you topped right up because your color is full. And do a quick spritz across everybody. Some of the alcohol inks are going to help with some of these, but now I need a little spoon. 
see if I don't make a mess doing this. Figure out which ones. How about having the spoon right side too? Let's put this back down here. Ooh, look at that color. That is some gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Blacks and purples. Oop, missing the tail here. Missing the tail here. And the foot. I'm sure it's going to float around anyhow. I'm going to get a silicone tool and try and mix in there a little better too. Thank you both ladies again for the mold and the glitters. Very much appreciated. Let's see. Uh, silicone tool. Because I don't want it sitting on top. I want to get it mixed in there. Come on, mix in. See how this stuff's fast, this stuff sets up too. These, these temperatures around here need to quit going from the 40s one day into the 80s the next because my house is sitting at 78 because... I wasn't thinking and didn't change my house back to air conditioning from heat the other day. And now I'm sitting here actually hot for once where I'm normally freezing cold. So I'm actually hot, but I can't turn my air on. <laughs> A little too late to turn the air on and take too long and it'll be cold tonight. So I'm just hoping the resident doesn't want to try and set up on me while I'm trying to do all this. I just want to get the glitters in so I can work on the let's see which one I want to put some of these other colors into. Let's see. We'll use these ones. Set these. Move the phone over out of the way. Somewhere over out of the way. All right, static glitter off the fingers. I know, you're about to make a blooming mess. Ooh, look at those pretty colors. These are gonna mix nicely. Little dark, little light. Back into that bottle. There we go. <laughs> Come on, get the lid on. Don't need to be spilling this. Come on. I know. 
you just want to try and make a thick paste. You're going to get down in there. Hindsight, I forgot I was going to mix these in and should have put them into separate little cups first before. Before doing this, it would have made it so much easier. Especially trying to get them into the other parts in here. Like I think there's some branches in here and tails and some tongues. They're just all getting mixed together right now. Beautiful, beautiful colors into a gorgeous little chameleon mold. Yeah, see, this is what I mean about my house is 78.6. It's actually set at 74. So I don't know why the actual air didn't kick on. Or maybe that was the heat. It was at 74. I don't remember. <laughs> Something parts at 74. Those are going to be some pretty, pretty colors. Okay, that's for that. Here, you can go sit in there. Just dip off in there. there. And oh, one, two, three for some colors and some or alcohol inks, not colors. Alcohol inks. See so if we can get at least a little of that dripped into there. Pick up some of that smush. Run off. Get in there. <laughs> now my granddaughter will have her own little uh, coaster here. My husband has one. I haven't even made myself one yet. Well, actually, well, no, because my horror coasters didn't work out because apparently polyurethane doesn't like being top coated. So I'm going to have to redo my polyure my horror coasters without using polyurethane. I'm going to have to use just regular white uh, um, resin, not polyurethane, because they did not like being top coated. And they bubbled up after uh, a couple of days. I'll show you if I remember later. Let's see. She likes pinks and purples. Get some greens in there. Dark blues. The violets and purples. Magenta. And I still did grab. Oi, let's see. Definitely need the rainbow. Do I not even have? I guess I'm going to have to use the white because I don't know where. Why do I not have my white sinker? Nope, that's flesh colored. That's not white sinker. That doesn't make sense. Huh. I don't know. I'll have to figure out where uh, that is, so I'm going to have to use the that bottle. I don't even know if it's open. It is, thank goodness. Hey, hon. Thank you. 
reverse way too much color. temperature how much time I'll have to even stir but we'll give it a little while and play that by ear make sure those aren't getting stuck on there let me get a wipe and Some glitter floating on you, that's okay. You're not even open. Oi. Yep, that was a mess. Lovely, lovely mess. Where my bottle tip go? Dark blue. Um, <laughs> you're on a branch, and you're not open either. Shucks.
I bet some of these are going to muddy my luck. Should have shook that one up first. Didn't think about that. Completely missing you, aren't I there?
Yep, some of these definitely have to be topped up, but that's okay. I uh, can definitely mix up a little more and probably even do the rest of the other little guys later, too. Actually, it's just about time for <laughs> the stringy consistency. Thanks to my house temperature, huh? Be back later when these are uh, done and if they need smidgen top up I'll top them up before I uh, unmold them and we'll be back when it's time to just to unmold see y'all soon thanks bye for now hello everyone time to unmold I hope everyone's having a good what is this Thursday <laughs> Had a thing of the day. So let's move. These are just little spare ones. We're going to start with. I hope I don't get anything on here. I tried cleaning up the everything. And I went and forgot to actually stir the chameleon ones. I stirred this one. I forgot to stir the other ones. And I don't even know if I stirred too early or, or what. My house was on the warm side. It's down to 76 and a half today, so let's see. It looks like it held on this side. Let's see if it did anything on the other side. Cute dragon has some pretty colors on there. I think my granddaughter will like it. I might have to actually back it in a darker color to make the dragon pop a little better too. Let's get it up here so you can see better too. Yeah, I'm not gonna take the lip off the back. I'll probably get some black and uh, Maybe some black UV after I get some more UV because I'm, other than I think some J-Diction, I'm out of UV resin. I have a few colors, but they're already pre-mixed colors. I'll have to do a top coat on this too so we don't have uh, anything getting into the little grooves on her. On the cute little... Uh, purpley blue dragon but isn't she cute that'll be uh, cute I'm wondering if black would actually look good hold on just a second I've got a oh, let's see Did we lose the colors or oh, one little bubble on the front here too that'll get taken care of when I top coat they're so far back down I'm wondering if white might actually be better that's oh yeah we'll have to do white yeah that is so much better a little bit of white White will be so much better. White it is. It's 
some of the alcohol inks got to the bottom of the mold there. Have some yellow on there. I'll have to see about cleaning that out later. Move the phone. That's in case there's any emergencies. Let's see if I can get some of these guys out. This was the one I just brushed some chameleons in. In the chameleon. This was the just the Timu off-brand name of Chameleon. Didn't even have a name to it. It was some number, and I don't even remember what it was because it didn't even have it labeled on it. Literally no name, no number or nothing. And I've had it so long I couldn't even tell you what it was. I'll have to go with go through the deburring tool. I was just curious to see how how it would look with the, the Chameleons just brushed in on this one. Has some glossy parts and some matte. That gives a nice different effect to it. It's a cute little, uh, I'm about to say with the little spot, I can't tell if that's a veiled or maybe a panther or something. It's been a while since I've had had any chameleons and that was the only two types I had was a veiled and a panther. I'll definitely have to add uh, some white in here on him, on his uh, spots because the colors, the glitter kind of sort of takes over a bit. You can see him when I turn at the angle. He's cute. But I'll have to make up or find some, uh, find, I've got black acrylic paint over here. I just got to figure out where my white acrylic paint is. I haven't had to pull that out in so long. I have some. I just got to figure out where I have it at. Oh, I didn't even realize I got a little black over. I mean, not black, a little polyurethane on this side. Spilled over. Maybe I should have done a little sum on him. He's still a little on the bendy side. Oh, I love how that colors came out. I did just a touch of the, the caramel color on the branch. little clear spot on one backside back here but most of them uh, stayed true with colors throughout oh, and a little clear spot let's see is that the right near a leg in the branch got a clear spot uh, leg and a branch and then a clear spot back here towards the the lower back But he's so cute. Alrighty, let's see. This was one, I think. Oh, nope, that one's just polyurethane. Can do white or black or any colors you want to brush in on the little extra details if you want to. I mixed in um, dark green with the polyurethane. This will focus dark green uh, mica powder with uh, part B. Just trying to give it a little color because I didn't want them flat. Oh, that one just has a shape, doesn't have anything on there. That one you could put just a name on there, that would be cute. That's what I thought. I thought that one was a tongue. Wasn't sure until it came through. Now I could see better. I'll have to make sure I paint that for future. It's tongue sticking out. It is so cute. I love these. Alright, out from under my fingernail. I'll have to get that. That went flying over to the floor. And this one was a touch-up one. Oh, yep, the yellow.
Yellow was a little heavy on the color. Should have probably just done one layer on it. The other colors look okay. The greens, the purples, the blues, those ones all did good. And like I said, the matte spots you can fill in with uh, some white if you choose to. And then when you do, you have to make sure you seal it in with some UV resin or epoxy resin, however you choose, to seal it in. Or if you mix it with, um, mix some white acrylic paint in with um, the gloss varnish. I believe this should actually be um, an actual finish. So this should actually be a, a, a durable finish so you may not have to actually do a, a UV coat over it or a epoxy coat over it. Oh I love that one. Look at the colors. A little small head looks more like a little female. Been a while since I've done the tried to do the petri effect. I'll definitely have to make sure I use less colors next time. And the ones that I didn't uh, do with the extra little polyurethane, like uh, this guy, he'll have to sit a little extra longer for uh, stability, for strength, because he's a little thinner than the other ones. These ones are a bit thicker than this one. He's a little thinner, so he's uh, going to take just a little longer to harden up. So I'll make sure he sits a little, he'll, he'll sit flat for a little longer. It is one of the plus sides of using the polyurethane behind it too, is giving the extra strength. This one's going to be really interesting trying to get the, the paint down into all the little dots on him, but... And I don't know if that would take away from all the glitter in there. But he's so glittery! Did miss like one or two little spots of the tail of not having the color in there. And I've got some overspill. I'll have to take the deburring tool and clean up on a couple of areas. Oh, yep, there we go. Let's see. Um, let's start with this one. Okay, that one's kind of cute. And see if we can get into this line here. And it'd be helpful if I had my glasses a little better to see. Finishing touches on these chameleons. At least was a couple of them. My head's not in the way, I hope not. I like these Let's Resin pins. These work great. Hitting a bubble there. Because that's what happened right there. So I hit a bubble. Come on. Not hit bubbles.
Okay, that one needs another coat down in there. go. I didn't put it in all the spots, just a couple of them. I think that improved it a little. Or all the way on the outside either. Yeah, that one's just a bit much. Let's see about this guy. And maybe a green instead of the white. Keep the white nearby because I might do it on the other one. All right, where did I? Prep that one at. I lost it. It's white. I can't find it. Where'd it go? Oh well. Let's try over here. At least up oh, there. Yep, there's green. <laughs> Pouring out now. Let's set that over here so my arm's not going into it. Am I in camera? Some? I hope. color the whole thing. I just want like some detailing. Come on over the little bumps. Thank you. Okay, might have to do the whole eye part there. finger. I can't see. This is probably going to look a bit awful. You skipped right over a spot there.
as much as green on that one's gonna get. Got you, got you, and oh, can't see. Yeah, white's gonna have to be the one on you. You home? Where's the eye at? Yeah. Hello. Where's the foot? Is that some sort of bumps there I can't see? I got the glasses on, I still can't see. Come on, around the eye. Thank you. Yeah, this is going to have to get fast forward because this is taking so long. That's about it.